And welcome back to Capital Talk. All this week, we're talking to the legends of radio. That's right, people who made a difference in our growing up. Where are they now? What are they doing? Who are they? Maybe some of you don't know who they are. We will make sure you do by the end of this day and every day on the bench. Just like Fred Obachi Machoka, I tell you, we grew up listening to him. We thought he was the blackest man in all of black Africa. Look at him now. Still in the business, but he has his own, his own uh, promotions company. It's called FM35 Promotions. That's his bread and butter. But radio is still his first love. And it is, right, Fred? It is. Did you know it this is. when you're in the police and the GSU? Did you know that? No. I never knew yeah. that I was going to, 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 be, to be entertaining people on radio. Never. Never crossed my mind. It just happened by accident. And here I am. Yeah. 35 I, plus years 35 later. 35 plus years later. <laughs> okay. So there are yeah. people out there. I'm sure there's some 18-year-olds, 20-year-olds, even 30-year-olds, right? Yes. Who have no idea that they could do, not only, maybe it's not radio, maybe it's something. They don't know what they want to do, yeah. but they, you know, they feel they need to do something. If, if it is burning in your heart, you feel like you want to be a pilot. Yeah. You want to be a, a, a musician. You want to be a football star, soccer star, that is. You want to be a broadcaster. I think don't just sit there. You got to start something that moves you towards the direction of the thing you want to pursue. So if you want to, for example, become a broadcaster, I think now you need, you need to watch TV, you need to watch Jeff Koinange a little bit more often, <laughs> Christian Amanpour, yes, absolutely. Larry King, Larry King yeah. you know, Leonard Mambo Botella, yeah. Mohamed Juma Njuguna, if you want to be a football and commentator, yes, you know, you yeah. want your uh, Catherine Casavulli, the likes, all these minor Kagenis, yes. listen to them and then record your own voice in your own bedroom, in your own private room, listen to it, give it to your friends, let them give you feedback. And if they tell you this is lousy, don't give up. Still keep on keeping on like this. <laughs> <laughs> like they used to say, right? yes. keep on keeping, keeping on. on until you yeah. finally yes. get there. Because you will yeah. if you are determined. And if for whatever reason someone tells you it's not good, mm. it doesn't mean it can't get better. It means you need to do certain things to, 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 to make it better so that it is acceptable to the, uh, within the standards available. Yes. yes, and never let anyone discourage you, right, no, Fred? I don't think anybody has a right to discourage you, no. Yeah. When you look at, you just mentioned a moment ago, the minor Kagenis of this yes. world, the Ka 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 Caroline, Caroline Mutokos, yes. the Farid Kimanis, mm -hmm. uh, Ses Mutungis. Yes. You know, the, I love the way Ses Mutungi <laughs> loves. Crazy. What, what a laugh. But, oh, the best in, yes. the, in the country, I think. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but Fred, on a serious note, what do you think of this new class of, of, of radio personalities? Because it seems like there's no holds barred in this business right now. Yes. You can talk about yes. anything, you can abuse anyone. Yes. I mean, can you, it's a different time. Uh, they're good, Jeff. The young broadcasters are good. But I still have an axe to grind with them. I still think wrongly, perhaps. Mm -hmm. But when you get an opportunity to talk to people on radio, it is not like talking to people in a church or a mosque or, or in a, a discotheque. Because the demographics are vast. Their, their, their income bracket, the education level, the age bracket, the, the thinking, their, the, their backgrounds. So when, for example, you addressing people at a particular time, let's say mm. on Roga Roga, yeah. I don't know who is listening. My father could be listening. 
my father-in-law could be listening, my children could be listening, my wife, my friends, young, old, other people involuntarily could be listening because they are in a matatu, in a bus, in a supermarket shopping. The, so the, I have no control of, over who is listening to me. And I could crack a joke which sometimes is unacceptable and end up having enemies out there. So I think we need to be very sensitive once on radio, even on television, because we don't know whom we are talking to. Absolutely. Yes. Good advice, Fred. Good advice. There's no way we can go on and not talk about an incident you just told me about involving the man known as the coach. Waruru Washira. Yes. He was driving to Mombasa and he was in Sultan Hamoud. From Mombasa. From Mombasa. Uh, yes. Go on. And he was in Sultan Hamoud. <laughs> I think he wanted to have a, a drink or something. And uh, he was with family, so he told me. And uh, he walks around Sultan Hamoud. And then he finds everybody is listening to Ruga Ruga. Everybody. Everybody, literally. <laughs> He's listening to my show on a Sunday morning. So he texts me and says, hey, you're busy greeting some of your friends. And you know where I am? Everybody is listening to you. <laughs> and I said, wow, sir, thank you for the information because that's my boss. That's you know? yeah. But I thought that, yeah. that that's re it's really nice to know that uh, there are that many people listening to, to my show. And f this brings me to my next point, Fred, and that's relevancy. Yes. I mean, 35 plus years later, you are still relevant. I mean, it's not just Roga Roga, the show. They're listening to the personality, Fred Obati Machoka. This is the person they're listening to, tuning in on a Sunday morning. I thank you for listening to me. I thank them, uh, 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 my brother, big time, because they make me, the audience makes me. If, if I don't have that kind of audience, I'll quit. Because that, my motivation is not a salary or a paycheck at the end of the, year, mm -hmm. uh, at the, end of the month. Yes. It is those people out there listening to me. And, and, and they tell me why. They tell me I play the kind of music that they like to listen to. That's why in my car, every time there are volumes of <laughs> CDs. You would say how many? I don't want to say. Because I want yeah. to be filtering what kind of music I want to play over the weekend. Yeah. And because I spend more time in my car than elsewhere during the day, I want to be playing some music and reminding myself that this is the kind of music, this one is not good, this one is right. Yeah. So that come the weekend, I've already done my selection. And, and obviously you must love going to work then, Fred, huh? Yes, I do. I do. I do. I don't get control. Not even my boss, Waruru Achira, yeah, yeah. calls to say it is time to be in the studio. I know I have to be there. Yeah. And if for whatever reason I'm stuck in the jam, which happens pretty often, <laughs> especially on Mombasa Road, <laughs> yes. then I, I, I have to feel very, 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 very uncomfortable. Yeah. Yes, because I want to be on duty. Correct. Yes. But the bottom line, Fred, the responsibility people like you have, you know, and you started this business when, you know, FM was a myth. Yes. And now, all these years later, the responsibility is still there. It is, I mean, it's crucial, isn't it? It is a big responsibility. Mm. And this kind of responsibility is good because it, you mature like wine yes. every single day. Yes. You know where you're going wrong, you know what you're doing right. There are times when I walk into the studio, I do my show for three hours and I say, uh -uh, I didn't like it. Mm. I didn't feel it. Yeah. And there are times I walk into that studio from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. I don't want to leave because I can feel it. Yeah. I can feel the electricity. Yes. I can feel that connection with my audience. Yeah. So I, it feels good yeah. to know that I can almost feel how my audience is feeling. Because mm. you feel the same yes. way. Yes. There is a synergy, synergy of sorts. Yeah. Yes. That's how I feel on the bench, Fred. 
I believe you. I believe you, Chef. I believe you. I, I mean, people see. I, they know yeah. that you're enjoying what you're doing. Exactly. And, 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 and I keep on telling the yes. young broadcasters yes. that if you are not enjoying, if you are not a fan of your show, yeah. don't expect anybody to, to listen to your show. Yeah. Yeah. You mm -hmm. must be your number one fan. And then the rest come on board. Great advice, my brother. Great advice. Thank you, Jeff. Congratulations. All the very best. Asante sana. Roga, roga. Roga sana. <laughs> you must listen to Roga, roga. I must. On Saturday and Sunday. 11 from to 2. 11 to 2. It's infectious. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> well done, my Thanks, brother. Jeff. My goodness. It's only Tuesday and Fred Obachi Machoka is lighting up the bench. Roga, roga, he says. Yes. Saturday, Sundays, 11 a.m., 2 p.m. Radio Citizen 106. You see, we even give them advertisement, but it's yeah. okay. Point seven. Point seven. <laughs> <laughs> 106. <laughs> 106.7 FM. And all this week, it's all about the legends of radio. Fred Obachi Macho, because no doubt, up there with the best of the best. But he says we need to recognize those who came before us and those who still are not in the business, but made a difference and a contribution. That's what we mean when we talk about the future of Kenya. Fred Obachi Macho guys is playing his part for the future of this great nation. What a guest, what a show, what a week is going to turn out to be. Don't even think of tuning elsewhere because the legends are on the bench all week on the award-winning station, K24. Where as always, we are, even in Roga Roga, all <laughs> Kenyan. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zadu Zadu. <laughs>who molded and formed our futures in a way. Where are they now? My guest today, you need to sit back because he actually did a stint at BBC back in the day. But before that, he started off police GSU as a signals technician. That's where he learned the fine tunings of radio. And after that, he started his radio stint. That's right, VOK, you name it. He was the voice on the weekends competing on one of the biggest shows back then, called Sanyo Ju Sanyo Tops. Some of you know who I'm talking about. He's been in the business all this time. He's still working, has a huge, huge following, and a, a show on the weekends on Citizen Radio 106 FM called Roga Roga. He gets more than 2,000 text messages and emails every time he gets on the air. This man is still a legend in every word, every sense of the word. He's on the bench. He used to call himself the blackest man in black Africa. Doesn't look that dark to me. You make the call. Fred Obach Machoka. <laughs> Sanyo Iko Ju. Ju. Sanyo, Sanyo Iko, Iko Tops. Tops. Sanyo is just the job for you. <laughs> Sanyo Ni. Top of the pops. <laughs> <laughs> it's still here, man. Fred, it's still here. It, it will never go. It will never leave. And not just to you. Yes. To a lot of people out there. Millions and millions mm -hmm. of Kenyans, Fred. Yeah. Unbelievable. When you first did that show, Fred. Yes. And you know, you were competing with some big boys back then, huh? Yes, across the board. Yes. Yeah, Mahanja Makadara Mike. Mahanja Makadara Mike on the other side. Yes. Easy Lizzy. Yeah. Oh, man. But they knew I was there. They knew. Oh, they knew they had something on their hands. <laughs> and was, was competition good those days, Fred? Because when we think of, you know, the choices, 
Yeah. There weren't much choices. It was no, VOK no, or VOK. Yeah, it was VOK or VOK. <laughs> or people didn't tune in to you. Yes. Or your show. Yes. If they didn't like you, they yeah. switched off, played cassettes. <laughs> <laughs> or LPs. <laughs> or LPs, yeah. Right. You know? Yeah. But uh, you, you could know. You could know that they love your show yes. by the sheer number of mail that came in. Right. Of course, handwritten. Yes. It was someone had to write. It was P.O. Box those days. And send it and post it. Oh yeah. yeah, put a stamp on it. Buy a stamp. Yeah. Um, and an enable. <laughs> then post it and yeah. say, Dear Fred <laughs> yeah. Obachi Machoka. <laughs> <laughs> but today, Fred, with yes. technology the way it is, yes. you get more than 2,000 text messages when you're doing Roga Roga. Yes, I get more than 2,000 every single Saturday yeah. or every single Sunday because yeah. my show is on Saturdays and Sundays on 106.7 FM. What time? That is Radio Citizen mm -hmm. from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wow. Okay. Yes. And that is a three-hour powerful show. With a lot of rumba, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, kwasa kwasa, a lot yes. of uh, uh, you know chakacha yes. and and a bit of benga stuff yeah. that people love to listen to. Those guys think it is hip hop. <laughs> I have a problem with that. You do. It's a big time. <laughs> but Fred, uh, and you control the music, don't you? Yes, I the, do. the, This is your choice. Yes, I do. Cause uh, I believe I know what my people want. I mean, by my people, the yeah. people who listen to me, right. and they're not few. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But Fred, I mean, honestly, 35 plus years later, yes. how does one maintain their relevance? Because I guess the biggest fear for people in our business is the minute you walk away, yeah. boom, you are forgotten. Yes, I know that. Fred Obati Machoka is still a legend. I, I don't know. Jeff, I can't answer because I find myself, myself relevant yes. i cannot tell you how <laughs> but i do know one thing yeah. that it is courtesy of god up there the almighty father yes. okay yeah. and then family because god gave me life health yeah. and strength and the ability to be able to do something all right yeah. my family gave me the discipline and criticism plus great support yeah. to do the show yeah. and i think those two factors have helped me a lot hmm. when like you that. walk in when you walk into the studio at radio citizen fred every weekend yes do you still have that energy you still had 35 years ago ah uh, surprisingly i have quite a bit yeah yes i have quite a bit my friend jimmy gathu was asking me <laughs> how do you do it and i said I don't know, Jimmy. <laughs> but the energy seems to be there. Yeah. I love the microphone. Uh, there are times when I'm a bit low, tired, mm. but when I see the microphone, yeah. it's like a kid who has seen candy. <laughs> Everything just turns around, yeah. and for three hours I'm banging doors, and doors are opening. Mm. So I'm, I'm cool with that. That's incredible, Fred, because a lot of people in this generation of personal, media personalities, and you know, they, a lot of them think they are legends already, <laughs> but they've been there for a minute and a half, and they think, Nimefika. That's a bad thought, very bad thought, because ukifika kabla ujaondoka. You cannot arrive yes. before you leave. Yes. Uh, you know, so I think I think people need to adjust to that yeah. that that mentality where you think you've arrived, because that is the beginning of the end. Correct. Yeah, you need to start the journey. Yeah. You need to walk the race until you arrive. I haven't arrived. You're still on the journey. No, I'm still on the journey. I am still on the journey. I'm still learning a few things. Yes. I stopped by a group of people. They could be mechanics. They could be uh, security yeah. uh, uh, personnel, they could be kids playing, and they correct me and they tell me, you know, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. And I listen to them. Some of the stuff they tell me is really inspiring. Some of them downright crit <laughs> crit crit critical. Yes. But I have to listen to all that and then uh, see through and see what is it yeah. 
that I need to correct. So I'm still on the, on the race. That's a great, great, great line, Fred, because a lot of, them, a lot of people don't take criticism very well. But the only way to, to know how good you can be yeah. is to take it. You right? Got, you got to take criticism. They're offering free advice. It, yes, which you should be paying for. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. People go to school to learn a few things. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I think that your audience must have the right to correct you must have the right to demand certain services. And they do. Yeah. Thank God, now we got the SMS, mm. uh, you know, uh, facilities. So you get instant reply. There are times you say, Naivisasa ni saba nanusu. When it is actually sasita nanusu, someone texts you and says, no, it is 12.30, not 1.30. That's good. That's because you wouldn't have known. Correct. Yeah. That's instant. Yes. And That's when they don't like yeah. you, they still tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about when they walk up to you? Because for decades, your line was the blackest man in black Africa. Yes. And they believed And they believed you yes. because they didn't know otherwise. Mm -hmm. What do they tell you when they well, walk up to you? They get disappointed, Jeff. <laughs> they, say, they say, first, yeah. they expect a very black man. They don't see one. Yeah. Then they expect a big guy because of my voice, yes. I think. Yes. Perhaps it, it, it sounds... Be, it belong like belonging to a big guy. Yeah. They find a skinny guy like me, and then it's like, what happened? <laughs> then there, there are others who have heard of me yeah. for years. Then they look at me and they say, no, you are not the one. I say, I don't know, I am. That's life. That's life. That's life. Wow. But uh, uh, before you forget, mm. I really feel that society has not treated us well. You mean the veterans? Yes. Because mm. I, thank God, I've been around. I'm still around. But there are many people. They're not dead. They're around. They served their time. Yes. Unfortunately for them, for whatever reason, they didn't continue. Those people need to be remembered. Yeah. We need to have a big do where all these fumas, uh, broadcasters, uh, retired broadcasters gather together, you know, sponsored by some corporate entity. Yeah. And let's, let's, let's have fun. And celebrate them, you know, right? I mean, there are people who made fellows happy. The likes of Abdul Haq, mm, if the, you remember. The biggest Big or the Q, longest queue or whatever. Yeah, yes. Topili Ambila. Topili. You, you remember those yes. people? People like uh, uh, MDJ Eddie Fondo. Gladys Erude, yes. you know, Joeria yeah. uh, Omari, uh, Amina Faki, great broadcasters. They may not be able to do what I'm doing yeah. now, but they are somewhere. And these people need to be recognized yeah. someday. I totally agree, yeah? Fred. I totally agree. And they played a role in, this, in the shaping this country's history, didn't they? Big, big, big role. I mean the Leonard Mambos oh, of this world. Legend. Legend, big time. Auntie Elizabeth. Uh, and, and Auntie Elizabeth uh, Omolo, you know? These are people, Margaret Malagos, uh, you know, great broadcasters of before. Yeah. I, I think we need to remember these people, we need to have some kind of hall of fame yes. for these people. Yes, Because uh, they changed your life. I know they did. Yes. The Mama Kayais. <laughs> The Ojuans. I'm Katwende. I'm Katwende, you know, Mugongo wow. Muture, you know, all these people. You must remember these people. And like musicians whose music you can play, broadcasters, once they go, like Joe Isaac Muamto yes. left, that is it. That's it. You're forgotten. So, uh, you're forgotten. I mean, I met uh, Jojo Pio. Jojo Pio. You remember late Jojo date. Pio? Late date. The guy. Who, who, who made Mangele power? Man, <laughs> it is important yeah. to remember these people. Yeah. I'm glad at least the head of state gave me the head of state commendation. Yes. And Mohammed Juman Juguna as well. Mm. But there must be a way to remember uh, uh, people who make a difference. And I think we have done that. Yeah. It is not easy to do that. It's not easy at yeah. all, Fred. And also, I think society is also to blame in a way because we forget very easily. It's just like in the news business, in, 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 poly, in life, 
we forget so we are so short-sighted myopic that for is, lack of a better that, word that is our society we are this society we are that myopic yes. we are the kind of people who fight like crazy in 20728 for two months yeah. kill each other and then immediately something else happens and we forget like nothing happened people burn at Sechangwan and we, we 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 are so upset we want to kill the minister in charge and we want to to do so much because we are so angry at the carelessness that precipitated that kind of action or that kind of happening but again something happens elsewhere and it's like we were not there we forget so fast that is why the political uh, 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 world here in Kenya manipulates us like you manipulate uh, uh, clay you can mold it into whatever you want because Kenyans don't focus and stay focused for long which is a sad thing. It's a sad thing, Fred. I want to talk more about that. That's so key and so relevant, especially in today's Kenya. Number two, 35 years on, Fred. I mean, what's the magic that keeps Fred Obachi Machoka so relevant? Because relevancy is key in this business, and you're still relevant. <laughs> and also, advice. Advice yes. for people who want to be like you when they grow up, but first we'll take a break. Okay. Good grief. It's the blackest man in black Africa. Still big star in the industry, still doing his thing, 35 years on. And he says he's not even tired. In fact, he's still on his journey. That's the best advice anyone in this business can give you in that you haven't arrived ever. Even until you walk away, you still haven't arrived because you're always learning. Wow, what a guess this venture's heating up and it's only Tuesday. Don't even think of going away. Capital Talk is back with a real radio legend in a moment.